Hey guys, out here at Northern California coast, we're fishing for rockfish today. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Dustin. I'm with Sonoma Creek Outdoors. Uh, I run this channel with my friend Devin. He was actually at the gas station this morning. You got to check out these glasses. The new Smalley Spotters, baby. Smalley Spotters. Um, we run this channel together. We do all different types of fishing. This is actually the third part of this series. So if you haven't seen the other two videos, I'll make sure I drop a link below. Make sure you guys watch those. Give us a like, give us a comment. If you like this video, make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned. I think it's going to be a great day. Um, we have really calm surf today. The last two times we were here, we had a ton of surf. It was tough to fish. We have no wind. We got a little bit of weather, so low pressure. Hope we can get on them. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Alrighty guys, well I hooked into a big link cod. He took me right over a rock and just the rub of the rock just snapped his braid like it was nothing. But we got a glimpse of the fish. It was probably like a six, seven pound link cod. Definitely a keeper. It was a really good fish, so I'm debating on keeping bait on or switching to a swim bait. I don't know. I'll let you guys know what I do. I don't know what it is. Shad thing, dude. <laughs> Link. Oh, big cab, dude. Big blue cab. <clears throat> Monster blue cab. That's how we do it. That's a keeper, dude. Alrighty, guys. Just caught this big blue capazone. Probably, what do you think? 20 inches? Maybe around there, yeah. Pretty good fish. Uh, what'd you catch him on? I don't know. This Walmart swim bait kind of thing. I was working it just like a jerk bait right above the rocks and this thing just came up and smoked it so we're gonna mend this guy back together and see if I can catch another one on it. Oh I'm getting tired dude. You want me to get him dude? I'll finish him off. Little cab. Is that 15 inches? Definitely 15 inches. Yeah? On the big hammer. Help him, Jake. Uh. Alrighty, guys. Another cabazone. It's my second keeper of the day. How many of that? Three? I'm going to get my third cab and then move on to the big link cod. Alrighty, guys. Just caught my second cabazone of the day. I caught another blue one. 
So I got two blues and then Jake just caught, I don't even know what you call him, just a regular cabazon. But this is a really good fish. We're gonna get a lot of, lot of meat off this guy, I think. Pretty sharp teeth, but yeah, really good fish. Alrighty guys, headed to the new spot. We got three cabazone, now we need three ling cod. Actually, we need a couple more cabazone to fill our limits. But every other rockfish we catch, we're most likely gonna throw back. We're just trying to keep the cabazone and the ling cod. So hopefully we can get on them. I have faith in myself. I don't know about these two, but um, we'll get on them. We caught a little rockfish. Pretty cool pattern on them. Alrighty guys, spot two was a bust. Um, actually I caught a little rockfish, but other than that, no other bites. So we're gonna head to our third spot where we fished on the second day and hopefully, you know, the water's not too muddy so we can go try for the link cod. Dustin's swim bait can get down lower. Jake's swim bait can get down lower. I'm gonna try bait again, see if I can get work one up on there, but if I don't, I'll probably tie on a swim bait or use one of Dustin's rods and then keep this one just set up for bait. So these last two trips, I've caught zero fish. The first trip, I caught a nice cabazon on a, a Kitek. This whole time I've been up here, I've been only throwing swim baits. The other guys have been throwing a little bit of bait. Jake's actually caught a couple fish on swim baits the last two trips, I think he did. Jake I th came three yeah, Jake came yesterday, he caught three link cods. Um, but so I'm, I'm gonna keep throwing swim baits. I'm gonna try and catch one on the bass gear. That's what I'm shooting for. If I have to cave and throw bait, maybe I will, but I feel pretty good about this next spot. We got the ba 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 banana slug. Thing kind of looks like Dustin, if you had to ask me. Banana slug? Banana slug. Banana slug? What's going in there? Here, we got Oh, 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 screamer, dude. Oh, big one, dude. Okay, stay in him. Stay in him. That's a big link. That's a link pod. Do you need to grab the gloves, dude. Devin? You need gloves, Devin, or no? No, I'm trying to get Smoker ass link, dude. Okay, Inhaled on. it. Oh, oh, monster. Yep. Oh, that's a ling, dude. That's a good ling. Look at that mouth, dude. That's a ling, dude. That's a good ling. That's a good ling cod. Okay, you guys, Jake just caught a really nice ling cod. Um, him and I have both been throwing swim baits all morning. He has two fish, I have zero. That could be because he's a better fisherman than I am. I don't know. But I, I, I think it's partly because I was throwing, uh, this is an owner beast hook. Uh, it's weedless. The, the hook fits in the, the top of the Kitek there. And I had a little half ounce weight in front. Um, so I'm letting it get to the bottom, but I'm working it really, really, really slow. And then Jake's actually throwing a two ounce swim bait head. So he's having to reel it really quickly. And I think that this is just cruising by him and the fish are having to react. And the reason why this wouldn't work is because it's so light. If I reeled this quickly, it's just going to be, you know, on the surface the whole time. So I think that that's why he's catching the fish. I'm going to switch to one of those swim bait heads right here. It's a two ounce swim bait head. Going to see if we can catch the fish. I'm going to still throw a Kitek and I'll throw a double tail, but that was a really nice link cod. All right, guys, I just rigged up two new baits. First one, two ounce swim bait head. This is a 7.8 Kitek, right? Yeah. 7.8 Kitek, chartreuse color, big old swim bait, hoping to catch a big old ling on that. If that don't shake out, have this big double tail on a, uh, another swim bait head. I love the color, it'd be pretty cool to catch a fish on that. Imagine a fish eating that thing. It's gotta be a big old ling cod, hopefully you can catch one. Devin's got a ling. You recording on your camera, on your head? Are you on your head or no? Uh, Oh, 
Go get him snag. Right. He's snag. Real. Let go. Let out line. Real, oh, real, real. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Come on, snag, it's him. It's him. Real now, real now. Oh, it is a nice lane. Hold on, Def. Use the wave. Wait, help him out. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, if you're gonna slip, that means careful. Grab the line. Grab the line. Grab the line. Scoot back, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Three ling and six cap zone. It's happening, baby. On the bass gear. 7.8 inch Sarchers Kitech. That's a good fish. Second big lane cod. fish they caught tons of fish on swim baits we got two lean cod three cabazone some fish on bait i still have nothing not a bite i actually have had some bites but i haven't hooked up to any fish we're gonna go ahead to a new spot see if we can catch some fish but i don't have to say nope. bite a chunk out of it like bite the head off and then rehook it you know Watch out, watch out, watch out. Got him. Not a huge one, I don't think. Oh, look at that little bastard. Ass fish, baby. It's all about the ass fish, brother. Huh? Is that the ass fish? That's my line. Oh! Link, 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 oh, really? link. Ass fish. Oh, I saw him bite it. I saw him bite it. I saw him eat it. What is that? Is that it's a link, fish? dude. Yeah, on the trash fish. Oh, he just smoked that trash fish, huh? Dude, right there on the surface. On the surface, brother. Alrighty, guys. So we told you we we're gonna catch ling cod on swim bait. I guess we told you this three times now. We finally did it. We caught two really good sized ling cod. I think this one's about I don't know a nine pound ling cod, maybe eight pounds. That one's probably seven. And then we also caught two pretty good sized cabazone. We caught a couple other cabazone, but um, we threw them back. They were probably 15, 16 inches. They're probably keepers, but a little small. So we threw them back and um, so this is how we finished our day. Alrighty guys, if you like this video, make sure to like it, make sure to comment, and make sure to subscribe, baby.